The drink I'm having here is chilled by the mini deep freezer sitting on my desktop. Well, this is Samad here from DIY King and in today's project video, I'm going to show you how you can build one for yourself using a Peltier cooler and a bunch of other hardwares. So have a look at how cool this thing can get. The enclosure for this deep freezer is made out of 3mm thick MDF sheet. All the parts were cut down using my homemade table saw while the dimensions for each of these parts will be available in the description below. Later I glued all the parts together to form the enclosure that is made up of two separate compartments. One of which is obviously the refrigeration compartment while the other one is for electronics and wiring. The insulation for this deep freezer is made using packing foam sheets. The sheets were cut to size using my homemade foam cutting tools. All the pieces were then glued to the inner side of the enclosure. The enclosure is painted white using some spray paint. Now to cool down everything, I'm going to use a Peltier cooling unit that is rated for 12 volt and up to 60 watts of power. The purchase link for this particular Peltier unit is available in the description below, so be sure you check it out. Before mounting the whole unit, I've added an insulation cover between the hot and the cold side of the Peltier cooling unit. Later, I've cut down a cavity to insert the cool side of the unit in the refrigeration compartment. The unit is then mounted and the leakage is stopped using some hot glue. To drive this Peltier unit, all we had to do is to supply 12 volt across the red and black wires. So I have soldered all the red ones together and I have done same with the black ones. The wires are then extended to the pulse width modulation unit that I have designed to regulate the amount of temperature that we are going to maintain inside the freezing unit. For that, I have designed the schematic and later designed the PCB as well. And to order my PCBs, I have visited jlcpcb.com. They are one of the largest PCB manufacturers in China. I have uploaded the Gerber files and later check out the options that are given below such as quantity of the PCB, their thickness and the stuff like that. And once I'm done with that, I've checked out. The PCBs arrive within just a week and the quality seems to be outstanding as always. So be sure to check out their website that is jlcpcb.com. Moreover, the list of components, schematic and the Gerber files for this controller is given below in the description. So be sure you check it out. For more details about this pulse width modulating controller, be sure to have a look at one of our previous video. The link to that is available at the top right corner of this video. Later, I've connected the output of the pulse width modulation controller to the Peltier unit and mounted it inside the smaller cavity. A 
a switch is then added to the input side and an XT60 connector is used for the convenience of connecting a battery pack later. The top lid is made out of same MDF sheet that has been used earlier and a plexiglass sheet is glued in the center to make it look much attractive. The lid is then connected to the enclosure using plastic hinges glued to both sides. A handle is then glued to the lid and I have used a lithium polymer battery to power this fridge. So guys, if you like this video, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Moreover, have a look at some of our other project videos as well. And if you are new here, then consider subscribing by clicking on the link just given over here. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll be coming up with another one.